From the early days of cinema, one tool utilized within movie making has been the art of special effects, or the incorporation of smoke and mirrors to produce illusions and trick effects within films. Hi, I'm Cody Reamer, a student at Full Sail's Digital Cinematography. In the next few minutes, we're going to briefly discuss the evolution of special effects within cinema productions, like the first uses of special effects, special effects evolution throughout the days of cinema, and some pioneers that helped revolutionize the art of special effects. The term special effects first appeared in the 1926 film What Price Glory by Lawrence Stallings and Maxwell Anderson being incorporated within the credits to L.B. Abbott. Some of the first special effects were accomplished by using the camera to create the effect. For example, in-camera simple jump cuts, back or rear projections, and matte painting landscape backgrounds. Examples of these uses are seen in George Méliès' early 1900 cinema film A Trip to the Moon. The effects were simple but cutting edge at the time. It helped move the story along and bring it to life. Arguably, the first use of special effects was used in the 1895 film that reenacted the beheading of Mary, Queen of Scots. Moving forward to the early to mid-1930s and beyond, more advanced visual effects would be incorporated within cinema to include the creation of film titles, fades, dissolves, wipes, zooms, and pans. These special effects were most well known by their use within such films as early horrors, westerns, and the onset of the sci-fi genres, films like The Great Train Robbery and The Day the Earth Stood Still. Early films such as King Kong and Jason and the Argonauts incorporated many styles of special effects, but the most renowned being known as stop motion, where between takes small adjustments to miniatures would be incorporated, giving the illusion of full motion movement. Although rudimentary by today's standards, it was cutting edge of technological advances for the day. It was the 1970s into the 1980s when special effects would become revolutionized by filmmakers like George Lucas, Robert Zemeckis, and Steven Spielberg by the use of physical practical effects and CGI. For example, advanced animatronics, scale modeling, blue or green screens, and motion capture. These are the special effects that most people are familiar with today, and while there have been many great movies made using these types of effects, cinema makers of today still rely on the old uses of practical effects over computer generated. They often incorporate these styles together in films like 1993's blockbuster Jurassic Park, where Steven Spielberg used both practical and computer generated imagery to help tell the story. With the ever-evolving world of cinema and a new generation of filmmakers coming on the scene, as well as daily advancements being made within the industry, there's no telling what new advancements in the art of special effects will be achieved in the years to come. Perhaps one day we will be immersed within the films themselves, like that of being on the holodeck in Star Trek. One can only imagine.